on November 20th of 1943, U.S. landing forces readied themselves off the Japanese-held island of Bisho in the Tarawa Atoll. About the crack of dawn, we got up and had our steak and eggs, man, and loaded up and went in, and everything broke loose, I'm telling you. Among the first wave of LCVPs was then 18-year-old Calvin Buddy Jernigan, whose job was to release the landing ramp. I was on the bow of the boat, and martyrs were going over, like that, and uh, machine guns, and we lost a couple of boats. And... Due to low tides, the coral reef that skirts Tarawa prevented a close landing. U.S. Marines were forced to wade ashore under enemy crossfire. We got in, unloaded, got out of there real quick, and they lost 1,500 men in that surf going in. After unloading nearly 35,000 Marines, next came supplies. Come to find out that uh, we had to go back hauling dynamite and ammunition. <laughs> On shore, the U.S. Marines fought a heavily entrenched enemy, and after 76 non-stop hours, Tarawa was declared secure. That was scary as hell, I tell you. Yeah. 